Good morning, everybody. It's very, very chill music. I'm sorry that you're eating Starbursts and feeling sad, Lutiaz. I don't know if it's because I'm playing this music. This is very sad music. Um, what's up? This is Fallen Legion, Sins of an Empire. I've played this game once. And it was at, I want to say it was at PAX. It might have been a PSX. But uh, I know some people on the PR team uh, that I've known from other companies that uh, are working on this game. Uh, they're doing a wonderful job promoting it. And uh, I've been putting off getting back into this game. And so this is a game I played because I knew people that uh, were working on it. And I was like, yeah, sure, I'll check it out. But, you know, I see characters, I see anime characters, and I get nervous because I'm like, these are not games I spend a lot of time with. And so I don't know if I'll understand the systems. And for the uh, event demo, I actually did fairly well. And I dug the style because it's kind of like it's kind of like what I thought has been Heroes was going to be a little bit too, where like the concept of a uh, building a battle system in RPG where you're not in an arena and you're not on one side and the other people on the other side. Well, you are technically in this, but like you're constantly moving. Like your your party is always moving forward. They're always active, and it's a matter kind of like Guitar Hero of just kind of managing all these different tracks or different characters on a track. 16 months, Jastrum. <clears throat> Excellent. I see enemy characters and I get nervous. Um, but I played it and I liked it. And uh, they were kind enough to send me a code. And I figured this is a very untraditional Jones game. This is not the type of game you expect me to play. Um, this is not a shooter. This is not a, a traditional, you know, Western RPG. Um, traditional meaning, you know, where I'm from. But, uh... This game is possibly one of the best descriptions of the PSN store. Yeah, if you could copy-paste that, that'd be great. Um, but we want to do a new game, obviously. We have very little time to read the lore. Tarquinius. Okay. My country was dying. Oh, no. It had been an open secret amongst the princes that our economy had been in slow decline for the last decade. Been there. The consequence of building an empire <clears throat> on conquest and then conquering everything. Gave Ultra that uh, StarCraft Remaster event from Korea sounds amazing. I did not watch any of that. Oh, here we go. Press... <clears throat> okay. Press these to make one of your exemplars. I like the music. I will make one of them attack. Attack uses one action point. An exemplar can hold up to three action points. Where are my action points labeled? Yeah, Spears is going in for sure. Oh, bow all day. Bow again. Oh, the action points are around the circle of what I can do. Okay. Oh, so I, can tap, I can tap a couple times. I can tap and immediately attack after that. Yeah, I, ju I just love the concept of experimenting with this kind of a pace with RPGs. Something where it's like, I I am kind of hitting as many buttons as I would in something like a Devil May Cry, or even like a fighting game, but I'm controlling a, uh, you know, an RPG team to hopefully, you know, hardcore uh, glam metal. And if it's a game that's, like, extremely linear, that all I'm basically controlling is, like, the speed at which I move very quickly through the straight line, um, then, uh... Oh, she's got spells I can do. Cool. Oh, and I move the analog stick to do the spells. Okay. Can I get a little healed? Nice. I like how they just kind of throw you in. Twenty-three Skidoo likes the action RPGs. I mean, I, I like an RPG for you know. I think there's an RPG for all seasons, and there's some RPGs I play, like technically Galaxy of Heroes, which I play every day, is an RPG. It has no story, doesn't need it. You know, it is what it is, and caters to a very specific time in my life when I need games. When I'm at like the post office picking up our packages, and I'm like, oh, perfect time to do my dailies. 
Cassandra's coil and blast your foes with Princess Cecile's magic. An exemplar attacks. Oh, she gets. Okay, so we attack and we get changing spells. Right, right. I can also do it with the analog stick, apparently. Souls Mancy. There's a lot of great lingo in this. Yeah, let's. Did that, like, just take out my archer? Man. I'm, like, healing. Why is it yelling at me to heal? Oh, there we go. Sorry, I was trapped in a tutorial there for a second. She's got to say that every time, doesn't she? Byrnish relic. <clears throat> this guy's freaking out. This twitchy fool's right. Yeah, I guess he is twitchy. Okay. Your exemplars won't be able to scratch him. Oh my. Command your exemplars block right before a fireball hits block, eh? Press L1 to make all of the exemplars block. Cool. Neat. Press that right before an enemy strikes. Your block will stagger. Okay. Oh, nice. Like, this is what I would equate to, like, boss music in a video game. But I love this is just, like, going through a forest. <laughs> the Legatus. We got all sorts of problems with them. Whoa. Lot, lot to absorb here. Fair just P Fair just subbed ten months in a row. Thank you. That's straight up sub. Sending a message. Who, uh, K, what golf game are you playing? Inside the boss's life bar is a white pulse called the break meter. A boss will be weakened if its break meter is reduced to zero during the short period of time. All of your exemplars will have unlimited AP and can attack non-stop! Be careful attention to how a boss acts. Certain bosses have vulnerabilities you can exploit to reduce their break meter even faster. Cool. Not sure what the meta is there. Tap it as fast as I can. In your face! What do you say? PJ Tour, oh, okay. 
For a second, uh, K, I thought, um, uh, whatchamadinger, everybody's golf had come out. Whoa. Lots going on. Okay, so that character got away. Because you're just cutting through a bunch of characters. Language. Okay. Technique. Alright. Offense. Killing it. Lotiaz. Lotiaz? Lotiaz just subbed? You just upping and subbing here? Fallen Legion did it? Can't better have an auto save feature. Welcome to Phenomia. Welcome everybody. Welcome to Phenomia. You can move Princess Cecile around the world by pressing those buttons. Press. This is also a Vita game, so I feel like these are Vita instructions. Cause I got my analog stick here. Press that to open the main menu. Got it. I guess it doesn't matter if I use the analog stick. So, hmm, where should we go? Let's go over there. What's the menu? Gemstones. I don't have any items. These are my peeps. Oh, so I don't even have... So the, the, the mage doesn't even qualify as a character. And obviously having him in front makes sense. I'm sure. Great. Okay. Let's get some gemstones, everybody. Coffee will be a good source of energy. Uh, uh, exercise will be a good source of energy. The sun will be a good source of energy uh, during our easy living uh, two-day stream. Consolidating their holdings, each turning their domain into a private kingdom. It wasn't long before we saw the first peasant revolt in a century. Amanda and Sophie will not be at the beach house, unfortunately. So it's a vacation. We're all going to be on vacation. Only a month Sophie goes on vacations, down, but not to the beach house. The second. The third like adding the Sophie down. variable to the beach house is just like... I love that girl, but oh boy. Oh, flashback. I'll be the anvil to your hammer. Oh, somebody's gonna cut, cut them off. Crazy old Maurice. You always take too long to get to the... Cl King is dead, long live the king. Uh, do we still have candy left? No, candy lasts about two or three weeks, and then even if we have some left, we let it we let it go. Uh, yeah, stream schedule should be up. We figured it out. I don't know why it's it's not finished. Oh, sweet. Uh, I have four packages uh, that I have picked up over the last uh, week or two, but uh, I don't know if I'll have time to go today. Wow, this grimoire is brutal. The most aggressive character in the game so far is a book.
Sorry if I'm burning through the dialogue here. I just want to go beat some stuff up. You overstep your bounds, book. <laughs> No, you overstep your bounds, girl. <laughs> wow. <laughs> like, it looks like Maurice is still there. I don't know about the other guy. He might have just, like, slowly backed out of the tent. <laughs> like, I don't want to deal with this. Creature sets my teeth on edge. Is Landur spear guy? I can't tell. Or is he more like a political guy that is not in the party? Just hunting for the point here. So now, we're, what now are we gonna do? We're gonna think about it. Oh, okay. What up, Wing Attackus? This is the developer's is Yummy Yummy Tummy, I think. Which is just an adorable developer name. It's hard to get angry at a developer called Yummy Yummy Tummy. Okay. All right. Whatever Zulfikar is, we gotta, we gotta, we gotta take it in. We gotta absorb it. Of course. No man was better with the blade. Gotta get him in the party. Zulfikar sounds like an EZA podcast producer. Oh, Tarquinius Fidelis. I feel like there's a novel I didn't read. Yes. Is it still a flashback? You start an exemplar attacks, one note is filled on the combo bar. Choices you make in the gemstones can change the combo bar. An exemplar that focuses on a note imbued by a buff such as haste or focused will receive it. Got it. A note enchanted with a blue aura is a death blow node. And an exemplar that attacks with a powerful attack. Careful, the combo bar will be set. If you get hit, if your combo breaks. After a perfect block. Okay, I can probably pull that off. You see a blue shadow. Got it. Ooh, now trigger buttons. Oh, right, right. Because they t they pause a little bit before they swap. So if I can like tell him to go behind him. Oops. 
Okay, so it takes a little bit to block. Probably heal also. Later, Ams. I'm playing on a PlayStation 4. Uh... No, I'm good. I don't need help. I'll ask for help later. So these are. this is cool too. This is one of the interesting things about the game. Between battles, Princess Cecile will make choices that change the fate of Phenumia. Each question has three orders you can give. Below each order is a tribute or receive to pick that order. For example, choosing assist would increase Longinus' strength by 50, but reduce her maximum HP by 25. Buffs from tributes last until the end of the level. All exemplars destroy HP after you make a decision. The amount of uh, amount of stores depends on your empire's morale. Think fast and choose wisely because your decisions also permanently change the world. So you might want an effect, but be like, uh oh, I'm gonna I'm gonna take a hit for that. But it's worth it because I just I need that. I need that thing to happen. I kind of dig that. It's not like he's saying Falcon Face every time. The enemies attack pretty slowly. There we go. Fun. You get the hang of it. Falco face. All right. Ooh, two X damage to the combo bar. Free attack. Previous treatment of cabbages has been linked to an outbreak of disease. Yeah, quarantine. Prince Michael was heard bragging about the chambers of his record profits. This is a dangerous forest. You were just hanging out here in the forest to tell me that? Here we go. I don't want to hear it, Grimoire. Hey, getting better. Oh, and it puts the, uh, I found a gemstone. Ninety-nine of those, cool. What if I go back here? Morning, swordfish. Morning, Mr. Showtime. Good morning, everybody. As the princes saw the end coming, they turned on one another. Whoa. Consolidating their holdings, each turning their domain into a private kingdom. It wasn't long before we saw the first peasant revolt in a century. Only a month after it was put down, we saw the second. 
attacked the third two weeks later. Wait, am I just gonna watch that cutscene again? No. Oh. So that spot is that cutscene. Got it. We're th this is gonna be a long journey across this map. Just checking. Am I excited for Commander Luke and territory battles? No, what is that? August is a good month, though. Uh, corn fan moving forward with community comments. We're just gonna we're just gonna cut it down to the essentials. Like people can still read your comment, but the part that we decide to put in the video might be a small part of it. Ooh. Cool. A Legend of Dragoon is that the uh, Dreamcast one or the like the one, the one that was on Saturn? I would love to do that. The really good one. I remember I played it for like a top ten and was like, this game is amazing. Press R one to use it. Oh, relics break at the end of the level or after you use them. Okay, put these enchanted items from the okay. Oh, I got all three dudes now. Oh, sweet. Upper Saul. Where are my Upper Saul fangs at? Okay, mashing that restores mana during this desperate state. A little finesse. You can charge through enough mana to fire an attack spell or summon a fallen exemplar with Soul Mancy. Harduck District is complaining of a ballooning homeless population. Um, yeah, it's patrol, fine. Yeah, fair. I know exactly how you feel. I want Spider-Man so bad. I try not to... Spider-Man's like one of those games... I made the tweet before, I think, after E3, and I still feel it, that if I had Spider-Man and Red Dead in front of me, I would play Spider-Man first. Because I think I would spend more time with Red Dead, and I want to savor Red Dead more, but I need Spider-Man now. Like, I... I... Just, I, oh, I want to play that game. Ah, uh, game was like a lot of fun. And it was really refreshing to talk to the devs at E3 and be like, now, 
here's what I understand about the demo you just showed, and this is what I think the full game is. Is that true? And they were like, that's the game we want to make. And I was like, that's the game I want to play. Perfect. Uh, Spider-Man. It's tricky. It's tricky to get. Ah, I gotta block more, I guess. The pole arm guys just getting uh, getting hit a lot. I guess I gotta block more. Spy's been caught trying to infiltrate your inner sanctum. Um, yeah, I'd tear again. I want answers, darn it. Mayor, calm down. I thought I was going to fight him. Uh, I believe we'll have all the allies tonight. I can't think of who would be missing. Whoa, that tree. That one failed. Nice. I hope that's true, Ken. Oop, did I get another gemstone? Sweet. Oh my. Swordfish, yeah, you will. That will be up soon. Our full schedule. Oh, you guys are pretty aggressive. Armored thugs, armed thugs have been threatening longtime tenants of some of Michael's buildings. Recruit. Yeah, I'm a nice guy. I mean, uh, 
I always want, I'm always in games. I'm always like, well, he I mean, help people. I don't get to help people like that in my daily life, so yeah, I want to help them now. This is crazy as Ali's been on those years with damn Prince Gaston's operations. Punk girl, 17 months. Thank you. Rains have overloaded the captain's ancient sewer system. Nice! See, these decisions aren't easy, but... Yeah, we should definitely get to get lots of Bud Light for the... That'd be, that'd be really good, actually, if, like, Boston gets there and opens the fridge and it's just, like, tons of Bud Light. Ah, <laughs> uh, that would be funny. At least to me. Ah, I saw that coming, damn. Okay, okay. Oh, I made it! Yeah, I didn't do that well. Cracked Emerald, okay. I'll go back. I'll get a better score on that one later. It had a smell. Very distinctive. Like cloves and human sweat. 
Gross. I barely noticed at first. Only later. Much later. More bad news. Jeez, Quirmar. Grimoire was scandalized. <laughs> we got to take immediate action. Uh, I don't hate VR. I love VR. I just finished uh, Dino Frontier and loved it. I'm going to review that game this week. VR is awesome. Yeah, Sir Crimson just asked. <laughs> yeah, I finished it. And the, uh, the embargo goes up today, so you'll be seeing a lot of reviews today of uh, Dino Frontier. There's my quick review. And I will put a video together as soon as possible. But uh, captured all the gameplay and um, loved it. That is cheap sophistry. You hear that, Soph? That is cheap sophistry. Or sophistry, who knows. Tell Kyle that dinosaur was going north to get water. Oh! I was wondering that too. Yeah, that's the one that sprinkles water on everything. And it was going to uh, just to drink up more water. Yeah, because it would, it would always get killed when it was heading up there. But... That's what's tricky about Dino Frontiers. You gotta pay attention to where everyone is. <laughs> you can't just, like, give them a job and they're okay. Like, they might bump into a T-Rex and that's that. Kyle was an evil god. Yeah, that, I, uh, I, I kind of want to make time to watch that stream because I'm, I'm really curious now that I finished that game watching Kyle Bossman play it. Is it lying? Gotta find some food. This was not. It shames me to admit. Oh, yeah, I'm excited about the second gen of anything video game related. But yeah, if VR is as good as it is now and it's just gonna get better. So that was how I chose hmm? to see them. It's a good place to be. But I feel that way a lot with gaming tech, interactive tech, entertainment tech. Where when I experience something for the first time and get really excited about it, it's not... Mostly because of where it is, but now I can see, like, oh, man, this in ten years, like, that. that's why I get up every day and work as hard as I can, because like, I want to get there. I want to get to the point where I can experience that, be healthy. Yeah, let's get on the road. Let's move it out. You want to come up, Sam? Say hi to everybody? That's Sophie. She's a dog. What? More fortresses. Oh, we're fighting at this fortress. Okay, good. Cool. I'm gonna... Put him there. And put him there. Because I keep thinking they're the other buttons. And so I'm just gonna make it happen. Bushin Ryu Cat, yeah, that, like, that, thinking of that is so exciting. Thinking of just the headset, like no cable, so exciting. You just walk around, you don't have to worry about tripping on anything. That Oculus controller is so great. I really hadn't spent a lot of time with it until E3 this year, and like, uh, definitely superior to the current five controllers.
That's what's funny about Ready Player One, which uh, some of you might have read the book and some of you might have seen the trailer from Comic-Con. But there's definitely scenes in the, in the book, this is not spoilers, this is just text speak, uh, where they talk about, like, they introduce, like, wow, look how, look how lonely that person is, absorbed in all that VR tech. Isn't that awful that that's what our society's going to become? And it's like, that looks great! <laughs> like, when I was reading it, I'm like, that sounds fantastic. The man is like, you would, you would just hang out in your apartment all day and just play games? I'd be like, probably, <laughs> if they were that amazing, like, uh-oh. Later, Grizzilla. I did some pretty sweet blocking there, I'm gonna say. The combo stuff I haven't really gotten good at, but uh, blocking... Uh... Jones would live in a digital Disneyland, is that what I just heard? Oh! Digital Disneyland? If they could design like Disneyland from the 50s and you can go walk around it in VR. I'd like to work for Disney and do that. That would be, that would be probably the greatest job I could imagine. <laughs> Recreating 1955 Disneyland in VR, opening day that you could walk around. Prince Gaston? No. Yeah. Is every last inch of him covered in hair? Yeah, Amanda loves VR, that's the thing. Amanda saw me playing Dino Frontier and was like, I want to play, and I'm like, well, I don't know if you can make two save files, and I'm like reviewing this game, so let me finish it first, and then you can play. But she was upset, she could play. And I know her well enough that like, I know what kind of experiences she's gonna like, so it's not like I push VR on Amanda a lot, but like every now and then, like no, you need to you need to check this out. This is way up your alley. I don't know if there was one safe file, I just didn't want to chance it. Uh breakout wait. Infiltrate, yeah sure. I don't know these names. Prince Michael, I guess he's a bad guy. I don't know. Uh, yeah, fund that. I guess I'm running out of money, but whatever. Yes, I will continue building the Disney castle on stream. I'll probably take that to the beach house. And be hang out in the background building the castle. Yeah. <laughs> 
50-hour castle building. No, I gotta sleep, but... I don't want allies getting their grubby hands on my castle. Wait, where do I go now? Oh, up here. To the Serpentine Woods. No one touches this castle but me. Yeah, I'm not a corn fan. I'm not going to build. I'm going to build a castle near the beach. Like, with the beach visible. I love people asking why we why it's going to be a beach house. Why does it have to be a beach house? It's like, have you ever been to a beach? <laughs> Beaches are the best thing ever. <laughs> It has to be a beach house because I, I believe it was Ian, but like wh whoever said it just nailed it. They were like, ah, we should get a beach house. And I was like, yeah. Yes. Yes. The Grey Lord, one of Prince Michael's buildings in Parduk, has just finished an expensive renovation. Yeah, sure. Check it out. Say that again with a Russian accent. I, mean, I, mean, I don't know what specifically I missed it. Some people say, why does it have to be beach house? Ow! Overwater bungalows are the best thing ever. Yeah. That wouldn't even be easy. That wouldn't be easy living. That would just be like easy, easy chilling in a hammocking. I wouldn't be playing games in that overwater bungalow. Maybe some Switch, but I probably wouldn't be streaming. Oh, Falcon Fane is what he's saying. Okay. Come on. Come on, big guy. This game's fun. Ancient coins have been found recently discovered archaeological site. Gotta um, research those. I like those questions. Those are fun. Ow. You know who does really good accents is Trevor Noah. I try to pay attention to how he does stuff. Kind of like when you see like different like cartoonists that will draw celebrities and they'll really focus on like I'm fighting a dragon, folks. Hold on a second. Got to trying to understand this dragon animation here. Yeah, do Wyvern Fang on the dragon. But like, you know, like if you see somebody draw Jack Nicholson and then they have he's like a really protruding forehead, and you're like, oh yeah, Jack Nicholson's forehead is pretty intense. But it's like neat to have the artist really have the eyes to like notice stuff like that. Um, same thing with accents and impersonations too. 
I remember the first time I heard, uh, um, hello. Let's do a trap. What's up, Shadow Marba? Uh, but I remember Walken, uh, sorry, Kevin Spacey doing Christopher Walken. Being like, oh yeah, Christopher Walken does sound like that. And then being like, I wonder if I can make that sound too. And finding out what accents you can do, what voices you can do. Not based on the real accent, the real person, but someone else doing them. So yeah, long story short, Trevor Noah is a fun person to follow. You can tell he really pays attention to, like, how different people talk. He's not great at all of his accents, but, like, he has an understanding of them. So, I mean, the last community comments, I think it was... Rick and Robo, or... I can't remember specifically, but, uh... Said, um... Asked me to read one of the, uh... Community comments quotes in a Mexican accent. And I tried it and did not like the way it sounded, and so didn't do it eventually. What does Stockade do exactly? Uh, Don's going to the beach with us. Whoa! Didn't we just fight a dragon? that block, y'all. Oh, hey, I did it again. Look at that. My team, you're almost there. Nice block. Oh yeah, it's over for you. Nothing but bow attacks. All right. I just had to start a fight. Sorry, Bushin. 
Ha ha ha. I got a B. The Stony Tark. Just sub, thank you. Stony Tark. Death Blow Evolution. Vulture Scar is an advanced death blow that requires a six hit combo to activate. Cool. Death blow. I'm going over here now. Oh. Another busy Tuesday. We're shooting some tabletop today. I wanted to do it last night, but we had fan mail and a couple other things. But I, I was, you notice I'm shaved and cleaned up the garage a little bit. And I was going to shoot Cup of Jones last night. And I just got too tired. So I can't do it today because we're shooting stuff today. And then we're group streaming tonight. And then we're doing the podcast. But I'm going to cut the podcast and the next four to, and go to bed and get up tomorrow. And first thing... I'm shooting Cup of Jones tomorrow. A big, giant, epic, gone with the wind sized Cup of Jones. Um, but I got close. <laughs> Sometimes people say I don't sleep, but I clearly do because I haven't done a Cup of Jones in like a month and a half. <laughs> Kettle of Jones. But I have been doing lots of other stuff, some fun streams. Been cutting a lot, previews and reviews and stuff. I believe Don cut the um, uh, Stormblood review during Comic Con, and Ian just cut uh, a review that went up. I can't remember for what. Oh, our Rabbids preview that just went up. Ian cut that. So. I like cutting reviews. Cutting reviews is fun. It may one day be something I pass off to another editor, but I do enjoy doing it a lot. What's up, Joe Lee? Yeah, I'm stoked too. As you wish. Dark Souls Retro is coming along. Um... I believe we have three scripts finished. I'm going to start doing VO for it and cutting it this week. And we don't have an official launch date because we really want it to be ironclad. We don't want to just like pick a day and be like, yeah, that's when we're going to do it. So it might be like early September, which is like still summery, technically. But, uh... We just don't want to give it time and then not meet it. That would suck. Want to have a couple episodes done by the time that first episode goes up. So, like, whatever schedule we have, we know we can stick to it. Ah, five block. guys back. Truffle Acquire, or whatever his name is.
Will you space the Dark Souls retro and not enough out enough so you can possibly produce and cut other retro before the final bit of Souls goes up? Uh, yeah, they'll probably be weekly, but uh, we might want to do quicker than that. There might be like three or four days in between episodes. So it's all based on how long the episodes turn out to be, and um, yeah. We've received reliable intelligence that a large attack or see us planning on Gaston. Oh my god. Uh, yeah, I'm just gonna observe that one. Apologies if you don't do more retros. Um, we are at max capacity as far as production is concerned. I'm gonna pay him off. Not sure exactly what the threat was there. But that, that dwarf seemed pretty happy to get that money, so that's why I picked that one. I was coerced by the art on that decision. Some tree. got a good pace to it this game, you know, you're just, you're trucking along. It's like, oh, a little bit of strategy, but mostly punching in, kicking in, punching in. Casting spell, beating people up. probably get my fill from this stream of this game probably because there's just not a lot of time in general to play everything but uh how do i get down there is that is my goal parduck oh man i made all sorts of decisions about parduck i hope people in parduck aren't like mad at me okay parduk Par parduk i'm on the playstation 4 at the moment PlayStation 4 Pro. Okay, phew. Thanks, Chipper Rancher. Hey, pup. What you doing? Just like, I wish that door was open. Like, yeah, I know so, but they're doing construction next door and it makes a loud noise. I'm gonna keep the door closed. Divine gemstones? Oh my. Yeah, okay. Your green dress is silly.
Okay, so it sounds like Prince Michael's not a nice guy. Mayor Cornelius. I'm excited season two of Telltale's Batman. I need to catch up with uh, Batman. I didn't finish season one of Batman. Unfortunately. That is on me entirely as a Batman fan. Margaret is demanding to speak with you to discuss about the omen she's seen in her tea leaves. Um, fine, I'll listen. I mean, this world has magic in it and stuff. Like, she might be right. stuff. Kind of always looks like it's attacking a little bit. I guess it's just like a little bit trepidatious around it. Okay. Help me, what other movies have Josh Brolin Thanos, Thanos been in? Um, uh, no Country for Old Men. Come on. No country for old men. Uh, he's been in a couple Coen Brothers movies. He was actually in uh, the Coen Brothers movie about Hollywood Hail Caesar, I think he was in. But uh, No Country for Old Men is the Josh Brolin, you know, piece de la resistance. But yeah, uh, do you remember his name in The Goonies? Do you remember his name in The Goonies? Anybody? Anybody? What is Josh Brolin character's name in The Goonies? Uh, Brolin was also in uh, Sin City. Leave. He might have only been in the second one. Or maybe he had like a bigger part in the second one. Uh, his name is Brandon. His nickname is Brand. But uh, yeah, Jeff Josh Brolin's name in The Goonies is Brandon. He 
His name really might be Brand, but like I think it's Brandon. We call him Brand for short. Ouch. There we go. There's a block. Pretty good block. Oh, come on, that block. Oh, come on. Uh, yeah, Brolin. Definitely not Broslin. Extra death blow added to the combo bar. Wait, I'm oh, sorry. Pursue. Um, yeah, James Brolin is Josh Brolin's dad. Uh, classic James Brolin movie. If you're trying to, if you're like maybe my age and you're trying to recall, like, yeah, James Brolin. What do I remember James Brolin from? James Brolin plays Pee Wee Herman in the movie of Pee Wee's Big Adventure when he goes to see it at the end. It's, uh,. Farrah Fawcett and James Brolin, I think, are the two leads in that paging Herman, Mr. Pee Wee Herman, in that scene in the drive through I believe James Brolin is um, Pee Wee. It's a classic, James Brolin. <laughs> like, it's horrible that the man, you know, has done so much. But goes to show how funny that is. So if you go back and watch Pee Wee's Big Adventure, like, if you know, it's not Farrah Fawcett somebody else uh i want to say it's fair Fossil, but it's not i can't remember her name but um uh because i think fair Fossil is a little too much class to do Pee Wee. but it shows that those two actors got the joke and knew that they were kind of making fun of themselves by being in this like Pee Wee's big adventure movie because it's like delegitimizing all the cool stuff that he did uh yeah disperse everybody chill out not Goldie Hawn. Definitely not Goldie Hawn. In the horror movie The Car. Alright, I'll consider it. What is the name of that lady in Pee-Wee's Big Adventure? It's driving me crazy. <laughs> Oh, maybe. Uh, yeah, James Brolin's still around. He's still in movies and stuff. Just, you know. Not quite killing it like his son is. Morgan Fairchild! Yes! Who is on Dynasty, I think? AC3 and 2, thank you so much. Morgan Fairchild, totally. Morgan Money Fairchild. <laughs> uh, the Bloodstained Halls. Here we go. It's about time. So this is interesting. I'm not fussing with like equipment a lot. You know? Like, oh my goodness. Oh, we got the person with the gun. Uh, 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 yeah, we're going to go ranged out. 
we're gonna have a crazy ranged team now. Because we gotta bring her in. There's the Sutherland dad and son combo. Yeah, true, true, fun story. True fact, my brother uh, has had several uh, uh, bartending jobs in his career. And one time he waited on the entire Sutherland family and uh, opened a very old bottle of wine for them that had a very bad cork in it. And he was really afraid he was going to drop the cork into the bottle. Um... Yeah, that's not cool, Gaston. I'm going to threaten, I'm sure. You can imagine Donald Sutherland d disapprovingly looking at you, being like, don't mess up that bottle of wine. And you're like, okay. Dude from Body Snatchers. Oh, come on, I blocked that. You really gotta preload your blocks. You really gotta be careful. You guys are tough. These walls have blood on them for a reason. Oh man. I might have to rethink my party here. Or just be more careful. actually has a decent amount of health. Ow. Just doing my special move, man. Yeah, I don't know what Emilio Estevez is up to. He's not even making, like, weird, like, direct-to-DVD movies. Michael's private security is accused of... Yeah, arrest him, sure. Yeah, I got my dude back. And I should have a full party pretty soon. There we go. We're all back together. Feels good. Uh, the list of games is getting announced very, very soon. I would suggest tuning in to 
twitch.tv slash easy allies for our streams. You would like to first know about our crazy schedule for our live stream. Yeah, that will be soon. Uh, Bushin, yeah, we're going to score both uh, movie trailers and game trailers on uh, Trailer Jones. Um, yeah, we just did Ready Player One, so we'll, we will definitely do both. Just depends on what we're in the mood for, I guess. What seems to be more relevant at the time. Avi, after something like uh, Comic-Con, we'll probably do movie trailers. Those tend to be the big ones. You know who and if someone is already editing the next Don't Skip. I don't know if there is a Don't Skip currently in production. I know people are might be capturing gameplay for one. Uh, yeah, I'm okay. I don't sweat taxes. Whoa. Oh no! She's a boss. Oh no, it's ready to heal him! Ah! This cannot end well now. Oh, he's, I got that spell right away. I can bring him right back in. Nice. Man, man. Get out of there. Close. That guy had very little help. Oh, I wasn't even paying attention to his health. Ah. Uh, 25 more minutes on this stream there. Best friends, Chuck and Trent.
Grizzilla, yeah. I mean, sometimes there's, uh, in slow weeks, it's kind of obvious what the big trailers are. The ones that are a little more high profile are... Clearly some more work had been done on them. Whoa. Grimoire, so creepy. I said nothing in response. If I could, I would prefer to flatter my vanity and say that it was because I preferred not to gratify the vile creatures taunting with a response. But the truth was far less becoming of a sovereign. I was terrified. Nice watching Shadow Marvin. Not because I had allied myself with a creature that could only be described as evil. Not because I had helped a monster do Cassandra knew what to the soul of an innocent man. Not even because I had felt the man's wriggling soul pass down whatever passed for that monster's gullet. I was terrified. Because when I had felt his soul slip away into the unknowable darkness inside the grimoire, it had felt very, very good. Who? Deep lore. Back to you. All right, let's get comfortable. They're going to talk for a while. Ugh. Oh, maybe not. Rioters have set fire to the Hypatian Library. Oh my! Books are at stake. Beat up. Protesters. Beat up. Protesters. Put out the fire. Save the books. Michael Azal is pushing through a bill to eliminate rent controls. Greece is exerting considerable influence to force council proceedings in her favor. I'll complain, fine. Complain! I'm gonna select complain. <laughs> That's happening. I'd like to complain about it. Sorry, farmers, that I'm cutting down. Oof. Oh, 
Oh man. But I got him right back. Oh no. Oh man, come on! Sorry, I'm just watching all these meters. attack down. I just don't have it. So yeah, these things don't have a ton of health, but man, they do a lot of damage. Brutal! <laughs> uh, yeah, apparently I will. Well, that's the first time that happened. And it was like one of the first people I fought on that stage, so. DMC Shinobi, thank you. Thank you for your sub. Thank you for your seven months of Twitch patronage. Yeah, I got forked. Look over at Kyle Boss was there. <laughs> Just rocking out, Kyle. Uh, uh. Why is the table all wet back there? Cause the sprinklers were on. Oh my god. I thought it'd be nice and stealthy. No. So good. Hey, Sophie. So John, what were you playing here? Fallen Legion. Uh, do you remember Yuichi from Konami? Uh, no. Uh, he's a PR guy. He used to work at Konami. Oh, he, yes, yeah, uh, absolutely. We'd hang out in the chat and stuff. Yeah, and he, he and he, uh, worked on this game, and I played it at PAX, and I was like, this is kind of fun. Yeah. It's kind of what I thought Hasbin Heroes was going to be. So, I'm sorry, this is a Konami release? No. Oh. This is, uh, Yummy Yummy Tummy, who I'm sure you're familiar with. <laughs> yummy Yummy Tummy. Yummy Yummy Tummy. I'm not. Yeah, I think this might be the first game. One of their flagship titles. The buttons are cooldowns? Uh, the buttons are the people, yeah, uh, uh, going. So it's like their attacks. And then, when the enemies attack, whoever's in front there takes the damage, so... I gotta be sure, like... I'm, re I'm regular. Well, I'm saving it, because I don't want to put him out into harm's way until, like... They do, when you do, like, a little smart block, so, like, right when they attack, you block. Smart and block! And you, like, drop people in. And then you got the chick in the back who does her spells. Is she triangle? Yeah. And then I move the analog stick, depending on what spell I want to do. The girl is the healer. She's a spellcaster. And the book she has is his own character. He talks and has opinions about things, let me tell you. <laughs> the farmers don't scare me this time. Farmers messing me up, Kyle. Farmers. Why are you doing farmers, dude? Ah, it's because they're trying to burn down a library. Nobody burns down a library in my town. So you kill them? Yeah. <laughs> hey, man, it's an RPG, you know? Yeah. Ooh. There. Oh, cool. Ra Rage Kaczynski. 17 months. Mr. Kaczynski. Attack. 
pile ready for tabletop. Oof. Oh my, oh yeah. Spoilers. <laughs> 17 months is crazy. We gotta come up with a two year uh, Twitch A. You know? We got one? Yeah. Oh, I didn't, thought we, I, I didn't know we got that far. It's there. Okay, cool. I'll go back to, I'll go back to Rifle Gal. Oh, hello, T.S. Hey, hello, T.S., that's what Starbursts are for, you know, when, when something tragic happens. What's your go-to candy, Kyle? Yeah, oh, Skittles are so good. Starbursts are really good too, man. Those pink Starbursts are something special. Skittles are my editing candy. Mm. More recently writing. Back at GT, I went through a hardcore Skittles phase. I was just like, Ooh. did not see it coming. Just like, were they always this delicious? Yeah, <laughs> it's like Oreos in the last year. I'm just like, wow, why have I not binged on Oreos in a while? No, I just like. So Oreos is your go-to. Uh, of late, yeah. Uh, they um, and like I'm always crazy about gum, but like they rarely have the gum I really like at stores. Even like my favorite, like what's the company that makes like Wrigley's and Juicy Fruit and that brand? Uh, they're they they're Winter Fresh. Their blue packaging is my favorite among those. I really like the minty Winter Fresh yeah. of that brand. You'll never find it. They always got the, the Juicy Fruit, of course, and then they got Spearmint, which is the, the green. But the blue, the Winter Fresh? Nope. I can't tell you how many times I'm like, there's the Juicy Fruit, and then, oh, no, oh, no. They don't have it. Rare gum. No. Nope. I'm always into the rare gums. When I was a kid, and I would go to, like, Thrifty or, like, Rite Aid uh, after high school, they would always have, like, crazy gum. And I'm like, oh, this gum's really fun. And I'd get it, and then I'd buy it again and again and again, and then I would, like, buy all of it, because nobody else is buying this stupid gum. And then they would never get it back. They wouldn't order more. That was it. I was like, oh, okay. And it's like a high schooler. It confused me so much. I'm like, it's supply and demand. Like, they, you go to the box, the box is empty, you order more. Then I go, maybe they didn't make more, or I don't like... I remember Bubble Bits was a, was a fan. It was a long, chamber, long thin plastic chamber. They had little tiny pellets of gum, bubble bits. And I would just down the whole thing. <laughs> you ever do Big League Chew? Do I, did I ever do Big League Chew? Big League Chew is life, Kyle. Okay, alright. Uh, Big League Chew is some good gum. Big League Chew, Grape Big League Chew is godlike. I have attained levels of bliss with Grape Big League Chew, I didn't even know were possible in life. <laughs> <laughs> like, I, I even not ironically used to chew Big League Chew back in Little League and, like, felt like a badass. Like, yeah. <laughs> you know? Like, the guys on the package. Yeah. They all look so cool, yeah. And, like, they're, they, and, like they're, the jaw is just so bulging. It's like, I, I clearly got to down a lot of this stuff. Otherwise, I'm not doing it right. Like, there was a time I loved gum so much, I would have, like, regular bubble tape. Like, the boring flavor was, like, fine for me. I was like, that's delicious. Yeah, it's like, I can't bubble tea. I can't do it. But, like, Fruit Stripe? I'll go there. I'll do it. Fruit Stripe is one of the OGs that's still around. The flavor lasts, like, three seconds. But it's good. It's a good three seconds. <laughs> Worth it. It cast a spell on me? It feels like my cooldowns are slowing. That heal. Alright, the clock is ticking. We got 10 minutes left. Hopefully, we got a good crunch coming up. It's a linear game, so I can't really control it. There we go. 
Oh, man. Lost him. Oh, bring him back, though. Turned it all around. Hubba Bubba, yeah, Hubba Bubba's pretty good. They had cotton candy bubble yum for a while, I got into that. I remember I was dating a girl at the time that's like, can you not eat those? <laughs> Why? She did, she did not like getting close to me with the cotton candy aura. <laughs> that's so crazy. Yeah. That's the most peaceable mouth in the world. <laughs> So we're talking about chunky gum, right? With the pink in the middle. Blue yep, on the yep, yep. That's good. Crazy, dude. Seeing as LA is quite large, do you have more than one Ikea? There's no, there's just pretty much one. It's down to 405, right? Like in Carson, I think. What about the one in Burbank? Is there one in Burbank? Oh, I've never been to the Burbank one. Okay. We got two, baby. We got two, at least. Definitely more targets than Ikea's. When I was a kid, there was a cool gum package and Game Boy cartridges that also came with tips and cheats for games like Kirby's Adventure. Nice. Riots have broken out at one of Michael's buildings called the Great Pearl. Uh, yeah, quell those riots. Calm down, everybody. I'm not saying he's right. I don't like Michael. But don't riot. Aghast princess? What are you doing in this cave? You just run up to people in these environments, Kyle, and it's like they've just been waiting there all day. Like they, they could see you coming down the path. So, can you come up so I can tell you something briefly so I can get on with my day? Yeah, man, is the whole game just fine or there no towns? Uh, no, there are towns. Okay. But I mean, they're like linear too. Like I just run through and talk to people. Not a lot of items and stuff like that. It's pretty straightforward. You're just kind of... Talking and slashing. It's a good podcast title. Seemed like eating that Taco Bell really took it out of you, Kyle. Jones, my weekly Taco Bell keeps me alive. <laughs> it is my sustenance. <laughs> All right, here we go. See, Tali, this is a town. Tali! We're gonna go fighting through it, though. Welcome to Tali. Come on up, so. There you go. <laughs> yes, 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 yes. Fire sauce breath. Yeah, is that fire sauce? <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I'll do it. Soria's forces have been driven off several raids. It seems like, who's Soria? <laughs> I'll ignore it. There's a safe. Safe bet, I guess. Loti has got a question for you, Kyle. Uh, it will not pay the increased cha taxes. Uh, okay, fine. Turkish or no, I'll investigate. I'll investigate. I'm going to assume that's gross candy. We've gotten it before. We've definitely gotten Turkish pepper before. I don't want that. <laughs> I'm good. Candies that I think have been good. That we've sent to Ouch! 
<laughs> Tell it like it is. <laughs> but I think that's the that's I think that's the thing. Like I don't right. think people send us candy from other countries expecting us to like finish the whole thing. You know, like, just try this weird stuff. I just want to see the look on your face when you need it. Yeah. Like I remember a clever they had uh, they probably still have it, but they have like a we're gonna eat weird stuff show. Wait, who has it? Clever. Oh yeah. Okay. Clever back in fun. Yeah. Two V's. on a cooldown, yeah. Oh. Uh, the more damage they do, her MP goes up. Oh, there it is. Got block more. Whoa. Ooh, guys, doing crazy attacks. So if you were to do the review, would you mention Odin's Sphere? Uh, I didn't play Odin's Sphere. But I probably, yeah, I probably should. I just mean, but for the look. Oh, sure, yeah, maybe, yeah. You'd have to describe this look somehow, and, like, I wouldn't know how to do it. Well, I don't play a lot of games like this, so I don't know how common this look is. Yeah. Like, I don't know if bringing up the look would make people kind of roll their eyes that play these types of games a lot, where they're just like... Like, I see trailers for games that look like this all the time. No, you don't. Sure I do. Back at GT, man, when we got, like, all the trailers, they were, like, every week there were trailers. That's why I always love, like, a lot of Japanese games will do, like, the you're watching, like, eight gameplay shots at the same time with, like, giant ornate titles with, like, a hot turquoise background. You're just like, whoa! Uh, chess is made by the Dragon, Dragon's Crown uh, team. Dragon's ah. Crown team. Arrived with that warning. Oh, okay, yeah, sure. Yeah. Kyle on a scale of 1 to 10, how much do you miss the Tetris? <laughs> Zero miss. Which seems to say that I wasn't having a good time, but I do not miss it. Right. It's like Toy Box Tuesday. Yeah. I miss Disney Infinity. I don't miss, you know, the stress of coming up with a new episode every week. Say Wyvern? Wyvern? Fang! It's not Wyvern? It's That's Wyvern, Wyvern huh? yeah. Okay, who knew? You know Brent Phillips? Yes. Uh, he thought it was Magicans. As opposed to Magicians? Yes. <laughs> for, for a good portion of his life, he thought it was Magicans. <laughs> and it was some television show or something that finally pronounced it for him. It's like, oh! <laughs> <laughs> he just like, didn't have a lot of nerdy friends, I guess, growing up, so like it just didn't come up in conversation a lot. Or maybe when it did, his friends were like, sure, magic is, I'll buy it. But magicians are everywhere. So I'm in a book club with him, and Magicians is on sci-fi, and it's one of the best sci-fi shows. They actually do a really good job. Actually, kind of, I like the show better the more than I like the book. Um, but uh, we called it Magicans, jokingly. <laughs> And I have to train myself not to call it that. Like, to try, like whenever people call it the magicians, I'm like, wait, what show are we talking about? And it's like, oh, right. A dumb show I just call man. All right, we're all, we, let's, let's drop pain and let's drop our special attacks because we're, we're crunching this baby. Oh, he's just mashing now. Magicans is a better word. It's funny, the music is way more adventurous now. In the early tutorial where they were explaining the game and I was just walking through a, a forest, yeah. hardcore metal. <laughs> like, immediately. And now we have kind of adventurous kind of... Yeah. Alright. But, like, the, the, the title music was really kind of serene and calm and, like, like somber almost. And then we get into the game and it's just, like, anthrax immediately. It's like... Dur -dur 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 
All right, we got some more nuggets. All right, so it wasn't Vanillaware who made this game. It is made by Mint Sphere, who did mobile games before. Ah. This guy's a capture a ranking officer. Oh. Yeah, Vanillaware's working on that weird mech game. Threat. Threat. Choices. Your Wait, choices will impact the gameplay. Because <laughs> it's not, it's honestly not at Vanillaware's level. It's close. Be a boss. Be a boss. <laughs> oh, he might be joining me. Or he might be joining me after I beat him up. Hopefully right. he's joining me. Here we go. Doesn't it feel like it? Don't you get that vibe from this guy a little yeah, bit? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because he was jolly. Can't jive with them. Oh! Oh, Somebody's here. She smells somebody. Heal, 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 heal. Oh no. Falcon Fane! Oh, so everybody's dead, dude. Yeah, I know. Ian, Joe's my wife right now. <laughs> my wife for Crunch. Fallen Legion. My wife. My wife. Perfect. Get that AP, Joe. Oh. Oh, no. FedEx carrier facility because my laptop is being delivered today. Oh! It says it's been there since 7. So I went there. I'm like, can I just have it? Yeah. And they're like, oh, that's weird. It's not actually here. So now I don't know where it is. My wife. My wife. Uh, I'd be really mad. That's not That's not a funny story. Where's I your mean, laptop? <laughs> they assume it's on the truck going to my house. Oh, got it, got it. So, got like, it, it's got not it. a disaster. Sure. So, yeah. Uh, it's the Fallen Legion, so I think Falling is a pretty good crunch. <laughs> I also, it's only the second time I wiped in the whole stream, so. So, John, she has, like the wipe, wipe she on has zero HP? Uh, no, she has, I think she can take a hit, but you, if everybody goes out, if you spam Triangle, it'll bring her HP back, and so, or it'll bring her MP back. Uh, it'll force the cooldowns, so you can maybe, like, ah, oh, as the guy's running up to you, like, try to get some back and cast it to bring a person in. It's just there's four buttons on the controller, there's four party members. Right. I don't understand why she's like this little thing in the back who can only take one hit. Um, she's also the person you can't choose. She's always there. It's, okay. it's her, she's she's what's her name from Final Fantasy X. Like, you have to get her to, to work everybody. She's Yuna from X. Like. She is Setsuna. Yeah. Okay. Yep. Oh, right yeah. over there. Yeah. Yeah. Horn fan, 13 months in a row. Horn fan! So yeah, time to shoot some tabletop. Maybe. I got the table back here. We just got to top it. Top Ooh, it off. Top that table. Top um, it off. Top it yeah. off. Yeah. Uh, your Kickstarter's done. Congratulations. Thank you. Yeah. You did that. Yeah. If you missed it, you can still pre-order. This Friday, we're streaming for 50 hours straight, starting at 10 p.m. 50 hours. Friday night. Uh, we have our schedule going up very soon. Um, tonight. So tonight. We're going to debut it on tonight's stream. Cool. Oh. I didn't know if we were going to. We were yeah, saying that yet. That's a big deal. Um, so yeah, tonight on the group stream, find out what uh, the full schedule is. Tonight. Um, are we going to go through it? Uh, game by game, and then post it so people can read it. Or how, kinda, how are we actually going to debut it? Like read it. I want to make a graphic that we scroll up on. You want to read it? Yeah. Kind of, reading it's kind of fun. Okay, Jones, if you read it, we'll do it. Okay. Yep. If um, you make it feel like an announcement, if yeah. you make it feel like an event, then yeah. So then the person can explain, like in that moment, like okay, yeah, I'm gonna, I'm streaming that, and here's okay. why. All right. Um, a three-hour schedule announcement stream. Yes. Tonight. tonight. <laughs> Tune in. Can we say what we're playing? Yeah, because it, it votes like so clear. 
I thought, I, I thought it was like a... Oh, okay. It, it, it's confusing because people have been talking about bringing games for this weekend. Yeah, yeah. So I can't remember what it... Gundam Battle oh, right. Assault. And that is... Gundam fighting game. Oh, it's a fighting... Okay, so we yeah. can play that against each other. Oh, it's a fighting not, game. Yeah. It's not a tournament tonight, right? It's just no, a sir. regular... No, no, no. No, no, no. Fighting game for funsies. Uh, we got some gifts. Um, I might uh, go run some errands. I might pick up packages, but we have four packages already, even if I don't pick up packages. Um, and hopefully if we're all together, we can open one of them, because one of them is, can only be opened unless all allies are present. I think all of us are going to be here tonight. And it's not that one. It's actually oh. another one. Okay. Because I was like, yeah, I think that's the one that he that he showed, and then I like got that one. I'm like, oh, no, wait, it was that one. But it's tough. So we could have a lot of cardboard. This one that's we could have the whole weeks, time. Yeah. This whole time. Yeah. Uh, let's open it now. Feels bad. <laughs> <laughs> we got three of us here. Let's open it. There's definitely some things in there that are not okay, are right. not for three of us. I think there's a Bloodworth present there specifically. Um, uh, but yeah, this is Fallen Legion. Thank you to uh, the team for uh, sending me the game. Check it out, PlayStation Four, and I believe it is on the Vita as well. This feel the the buttons are big. This feels like a Vita game. That's been that's just like it's just on PlayStation Four. I can see it. Um, it's the yeah. I don't know if I can go back to the menu. Yeah, title so. screen. Whoa. But, uh, look how big that start button. Look at that, press X. That's huge. <laughs> that's, that's Vita sized. Um, so, yeah, you can pick this up on, on either or both uh, if you would like. <laughs> um, but, uh, and thank you, special guest stars, Ian Hing and Kyle Bosman. Sorry, wife the, Jones. I love it's the all good. things you notice in games. Yeah. Like stuff that, like, I mean, sometimes it bothers well, you, the, sometimes you just notice it, but it's just stuff I would never even. You know what's funny about buttons is uh, go back and play old 360 games, like the year, like 2006 three, Xbox 360 games. The buttons are enormous. Because oh, yeah. <laughs> everything went HD, yeah. oh. but they kept the buttons. Like, it was just the developers hadn't thought about that. They're like, oh, wait, I can actually. Yeah. You play, like, Final Fantasy XIV, and, like, you, I mean, yeah. <laughs> the text is very small. I like You've got to fit a lot yeah. of stuff on screen. I think it's better use of the space, man. I think it was uh, Assassin's Creed Brotherhood. I was cackling. It was just like, you know, like the, the HUD was like, <laughs> you know, like, the, the mini-map, the... just humongous. I remember the opposite <laughs> of that, too, when, when everything went Super HD and my TV was still SD. I was trying to play, I think, like, GTA Four or something, and I couldn't read any of the... The any text. of the text at all. Yeah. And I was like, all right, I need to get a new TV now. That was weird. Uh, we'll squirrely make the beach house. I love that Kyle was angry I named him Squirrely. We weren't even thinking. <laughs> that it's like, that's thing? his name now. <laughs> that's it's Squirrely. No, it's the he, best you can do. Because somebody in chat asked about it. That is canonically his name. We cannot change it. Unless Squirrely had a twin like brother that. that had a much yeah. cooler name and Squirrely was killed in his sleep. <laughs> then it then problem solved. Don't Axel. make it dark, Jones. I went Don't out, make it dark. I went out of the front yard Squirly and there was Squirrely in the middle of the road. We've never made our puppets dark. But there was a note start on Squirrely that said, "My brother, you know, Felonius." <laughs> Felonius. Oh, uh oh, Squirrely is dead. Uh -oh. Squirrely Tune in later for the Felonius. adventures of Felonius. Yeah, that's true, Jones. I love you, everybody. Uh, take care. We'll be back in six hours with more streaming.